right, feral fluid. So this is what it looks like when it's not uh, manipulated by the magnet. So let me show you something. Got some conventional neodymium magnets here that have not been manipulated. And what I mean by that is that we have a polymagnetizer here at Tech Shop. So um, this is what a conventional magnet looks like under ferrofluid, just a little bit. Of course, it makes a little tiny spikes like usual. Um, I have this on top of a, of a polyethylene thermal forming plastic sheet because it's easy to separate the magnets from. And then here's the, uh, the main ferrofluid down there, so that's all ready to go. So I'm going to let that go. So I was just kind of playing around and um, I put a little water droplet over here. So now I'm going to put the conventional magnet away. I'm going to grab my poly magnet. So this is a magnet that's been manipulated. So I have zapped it to basically make a ring shape just like this. So the center of the magnet is a negative charge. The outside ring is a positive charge. I'm sorry, did I say negative or positive? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm gonna go over to this water droplet and something pretty crazy happens. I can actually use it as a buffer to move the water droplet or <laughs> pick it up and then carry it wherever the hell I want all over this thing. Of course, it makes a mess wherever it goes, but said the slug. Anyway, and if I want to get rid of it, I could just drop it off by tilting the magnet and leaving the water droplet behind. And then if I flip it uh, like so, I can come over to it and reconnect with the water droplet and uh, pick it up like a donut. And since they're immiscible fluids, I can basically transport the, uh, the water droplet anywhere, set it off, and leave it. Not so easily, but it's done. So that's it. Technology, awesome.